السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ وعلیکم السلام و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ How are you? الحمدللہ I'm fine Good الحمدللہ So ہم کون سا جز دیکھ رہے تھے؟ فمن ازلم فمن ازلم جز نمبر 24 Yesterday ہم نے کون سی سورہ دیکھی تھی؟ سورہ المومن سورہ المومن And what is the meaning of مومن؟ The believer The believer And Allah loves the true believer Right Allah loves the true believer سو اس کے بعد ہم دیکھتے ہیں کونسی سورہ ہے ٹھیک ہے سورہ مومن انسیر ادرکو فورٹین اور در نیکس سورہ سٹارٹ ہیر سورہ حامیم سجدہ سورہ حامیم سجدہ سورہ حامیم سجدہ کو سورہ فصلات بھی کہتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے اور ہم نے ایک اور سورہ دیکھی تھی that is سورہ السجدہ ان وش پارا ٹوئنٹی ون ٹوئنٹی ون رائٹ سو it is here سورہ حامیم سجدہ and also سورہ فصلات it is also known as سورہ Fusilat. 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 Right. Okay. This is chapter number 41, revealed in Makkah, ayat 54 and Ruku 6. Fine. And what Allah says in this surah? Allah says in this surah that Quran is the book that explains everything. Okay. What is the meaning of Fusilat? Fusilat means explain in detail. Allah explains everything in detail. Right. So, uh, Allah says in this surah, the Quran is a book that explains everything. If any person uh, lived the life according to the Quran and according to Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he will be always successful in this world and hereafter. hereafter. Okay, so Allah has explained everything beautifully in detail in the Quran, right? So, what should we do? We should read the Quran beautifully. We should recite the Quran beautifully. And we should understand the Quran. Every word, every ayat, we should understand perfectly, properly. Okay? When we read the Quran beautifully, we will be very happy. And when we read the Quran, we will be very happy. And when we read the Quran, we will be very happy. And when we read the Quran, we will be very happy. And when we read the Quran, we should read details about every ayat of the Quran. Okay? اللہ نے قرآن میں کیا کیا کہا ہے ٹھیک ہے کون سے پیغمبر کے بارے میں کہا ہے کس پروفٹ کے بارے میں کہا ہے ٹھیک ہے ساری باتیں ہمیں کیا کرنا چاہیے ہمیں کیا نہیں کرنا چاہیے ساری باتیں اللہ نے قرآن میں لکھی ہیں ٹھیک ہے اور if a person follow the قرآن and follow the son of prophet محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم he will be the true believer he will be the true believer and Allah loves the True believer. Allah loves the true believer. Fine. If a person do not read the Quran, do not understand the Quran, do not follow the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he do always mistake in his life, right? He do always do sin in his life, big sin sometimes, small sin, right? Every person must read Quran and understand the Quran, so he can get the straight path, the right path. Fine. Allah has created the heaven and the earth warning to those who turn away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who denied the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who denied the prophets of Allah Fine. Allah has mentioned in this surah that those who deny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who deny his prophet, his messenger their own body part will witness against him on the day of judgment so scary. See, if a person doing lot of bad things, lot of bad deeds in this world, and he think that nobody is seeing me, but Allah is watching every time, every person of this world. And angels are writing goods and bad deeds. And just always are ready to writing our good deeds and bad deeds. When that person body part will say, the tongue will say, this person made others cry, this person made others people sad, hand will say, ear will say, I will say, this person used to watch very bad things. The person own body part, that person own body part will say on the day of judgment. And that person say, oh, my body part is saying against me, how it is possible, he will cry a lot, he will cry so much. But on the day of judgment, there will be no acceptance of forgiveness. forgiveness. Allah gave only one chance in this world. 
fine till the death till the, Allah says i give your whole life to repent whole life to ask forgiveness from me but you did not repent so on the day of judgment i will not forgive and where he will go hell hell so scary so scary place hell is right if a good person has uh, some mistake has to some mistake some sin he just run to allah subhanahu taala oh allah please forgive me i did this sin mistakenly please forgive me allah please allah taala mujhe maaf kar dijiye i will not do this sin again okay and i will be a true believer always he say astaghfirullah astaghfirullah a lot of time he cry and allah forgive because allah love the person who come to allah subhanahu wa taala and ask forgiveness why so allah gives strength to the believer he loves the person who invite others to the allah subhanahu wa taala who invite others to the allah spoke come and read allah spoke and follow it the truth will come at the day of judgment okay whatever the person is doing in this world the truth will come he will see the truth on the day of judgment on the day of judgment fine so some other matter allah has mentioned this surah for silat and the other surah we will see in the next class inshallah fine and today i will tell you about surah for silat it is also known as surah hamim sajda it it means the exp- explain in detail It is in chapter number forty-one, revealed in Makkah, Al fifty-four and Rukhu six. Where mentions that the Quran is the book that that explains everything. Allah created the heaven and earth. Warning to those who turn away from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Those that those who deny Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, they body will witness against him. Allah gives a strength to the believers the best people are those who in it white others to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah gives time to the people to repent the truth will come on the day of judgment okay friends You are so right and I'm alive with me. I will see you next time. Allah peace. Assalamu alaikum. A way of life, a way of life, a way of life, a way of life. Islam is a way of life, a complete way.